Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new. I'm Andrea, and I'm Gabe. And today we're going to take a look into Patty's journal as she writes about her exciting time in Taipei. But first, let's take a look at some key words. The first one is sight. Sight. There are many interesting and beautiful sights to see in this country. Our next keyword is MRT. MRT. Let's take the MRT. It's the fastest way to get there. Visit. Visit. Grandma visited us for two weeks last summer. Direction. Direction. My school is in that direction. Follow me. Suggest. Suggest. My friend suggested that I wear a dress to the party. Interesting game. Well, I suggest that we say these key words together again. The first one is. Sight. Sight. M R T. M R T. Visit. Visit. Direction. Direction. Suggest. Suggest. Well, I suggest that we go and find out what our mission will be for today. Let's go and ask Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Hello. Well, would you like me to、uh, tell you? We want you to suggest maybe、uh, something that we can find in today's lesson,、uh, like like a mission. Ah,、uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. What was Patty's favorite part of the weekend? What was Patty's favorite part of the weekend? That's a good mission. Well, I suggest that we look into today's lesson right now to see if we can find the answer. Dear Journal, I had a great weekend. My cousins and I explored Taipei with our new friend Daisy. Daisy took us to see a lot of the sights in Taipei. We went to the National Palace Museum, a place called Ximending, and a few other interesting places. We even got to ride the MRT. My favorite part of the weekend was going to Taipei 101. There was so much to see and do there. We ate, shopped, and visited the 89th floor observatory. Hey everybody! We are reading in Patty's journal, and we see a lot of key words here. So let's look at the first one. The first word is sight. Sight. A sight is a famous place to visit or to see. That's a sight. Well, Patty writes that Daisy took her to see a lot of sights in Taipei. She went to many famous places in Taipei. That's right. Now it's important to know that there is another word that sounds like this sight, and that is spelled S I G H T. What does S I G H T mean? Well, that is your sight. Your sight is when you use your eyes to see something. When you're looking at something great, you can also say, "What a sight!" What a sight! But if it is something famous in a city, then it is sight. S I T E. Well, hey, we have some more key words here. The next one is M R T. Say it with me again. MRT. Now this stands for Mass Rapid Transit. Mass means a lot of something. Rapid means really fast, and transit is a way you travel. So it's something that takes a lot of people really fast somewhere. The MRT. Well, that is great. Saying Mass Rapid Transit is too long, so it's much easier just to say M. R T. 
It's another word for a subway. That's right, and the MRT in Taipei makes life and getting around very convenient. Now we also found the answer to our mission in this lesson. The mission is: What was Patty's favorite part of the weekend? What was Patty's favorite part of the weekend? Visiting the Taipei 101 was her favorite part. And she also visited the 89th floor of that building. Let's look at this word: the word "visit." Say it with me: visit. When you visit a place, that means you go there for a while. You can also visit a person. You go to see that person and talk to them for a while. The views from the observatory were amazing. I've never been in such a tall building before. I liked looking at the different landmarks around Taipei. Everything looked so small. I took a lot of pictures. I could even see Colorado while I was up there. Well, kind of. There was a sign, and it showed which direction home was. That was fun to see. You know, it's always interesting to learn about what Patty writes in her journal. She reviews the week and writes down all the important things she wants to remember. That's right. She said that she saw a lot of things from Taipei 101, and everything looked really small. But she could also see other landmarks around Taipei, and she could even see Colorado. Wow, that's amazing! Well, okay, she didn't actually see Colorado, but she saw a sign. That showed the direction. Let's learn that keyword together. Direction. Direction. Now your direction shows you where you are or where you have to go. Direction. And so if you are walking somewhere with some friends, you might be confused sometimes and might get lost. And you might ask, well, what direction are we going? Which direction are we going? Where are we going? Yes, should we turn right or should we turn left? Which direction should we go? Should we go straight ahead or walk back again? What is the direction? Should we go north, south, east, or west? Which direction should we go? So there was a sign, and it showed which direction home was. Okay, it sounds like Patty is remembering many amazing things about her time at the 101. While we were up in the observatory, I opened my wallet and found I had 589 NT extra in my wallet. Daisy remembered that 589 NT was the price of my travel book. She suggested that maybe the bookstore forgot to charge me for it. I looked at my receipt, and Daisy was right. I wanted to do the right thing, so I went back to the store and paid for the book. I'm happy I did. Doing the right thing always feels good. On top of the world, Patty. On top of the world, Patty. That's what Patty said in her journal. She said she's on top of the world. Of course, she was on top of the world. Why? Well, because she was on top of the Taipei 101, or at least on the 89th floor. That's right. She was way up high, so it feels like she's on top of the world. But this also has another meaning. To be on top of the world means to be very happy about something. Yes, you can say I got a new job. I'm on top of the world. And Patty is on top of the world. She's very happy about something. What is she happy about, Andrea? Well, she's happy about her adventures in Taipei. And Patty is on top of the world for doing the right thing as well. She says doing the right thing always feels good. Now we want to learn a key word here. That would be the right thing. The word here is suggest. Suggest. 
When you suggest something, that means you give advice to someone. Or you tell someone what you think that they should do. You suggest. Right, you suggest, you share what you think someone should do. Well, friends, we suggest that you all review the key words you learned today. Movie Minute. Today on Travel Hualien, we're visiting Hualien's Carp Lake. Carp Lake is one of the largest lakes in Hualien. It's called Carp Lake because some say the mountains around the lake look like a carp. Li Yu. Carp Lake is a really beautiful and quiet place. It's a great place to enjoy a sunny day. You can do many different outdoor activities there. If you like to take a walk or ride a bike, there is a four kilometer long path around the lake. The path is great for a walk or a bike ride. It takes about an hour to walk the path and about 30 minutes to ride it. If you like being out on the water, you can rent a boat and row out onto the lake with some of your friends. Sit in the boat and relax. Carp Lake is also a great place to play with your friends. Bring a frisbee or a ball and have fun. There are many other things you can do at Carp Lake, but you don't have to do any of these things. Carp Lake is also a great place to just sit and enjoy the scenery. Next time you're in Hualien, maybe you can plan a visit. Conversation Replay Dear Journal, I had a great weekend. My cousins and I explored Taipei with our new friend Daisy. Daisy took us to see a lot of the sights in Taipei. We went to the National Palace Museum, a place called Ximending, and a few other interesting places. We even got to ride the MRT. My favorite part of the weekend was going to Taipei 101. There was so much to see and do there. We ate, shopped, and visited the 89th floor observatory. The views from the observatory were amazing. I've never been in such a tall building before. I liked looking at the different landmarks around Taipei. Everything looked so small. I took a lot of pictures. I could even see Colorado while I was up there. Well, kind of. There was a sign and it showed which direction home was. That was fun to see. While we were up in the observatory, I opened my wallet and found I had 589 NT extra in my wallet. Daisy remembered that 589 NT was the price of my travel book. She suggested that maybe the bookstore forgot to charge me for it. I looked at my receipt and Daisy was right. I wanted to do the right thing, so I went back to the store and paid for the book. I'm happy I did. Doing the right thing always feels good. On top of the world, Patty. Calendar Phrase. Hey Gabe, last night I tried a new restaurant. It was so good. You have to go. Oh, I really want to go, uh, but I don't know how to get there. Can, can you give me directions? Oh, you want me to give you directions? Yeah, just tell me on a piece of paper how to get there. Okay, I can do that, but first, let's teach our calendar phrase. It is, can you give me directions? Can you give me directions? Now, if you don't know where you are or how to get somewhere, you can ask someone this question. Hey, hey, 
Can you give me directions? Well, I'd be glad to give you directions. I will write them down and give you the directions. But first, let's go and see the calendar phrase skit for today. Can you give me directions? Can you give me directions? Can you give me directions? I can try. Where are you going? I'm going to the market. Can you give me directions? Oh, sorry. I can't help you. Why not? I don't know how to get there. I only know how to get to the grocery store. Oh, can you give me directions to the store? Sure. I'll write them down. Can you give me directions? Can you give me directions? Oh, well, hey, I, I'm kind of lost. I'm looking for Eddie. Can you give me directions? Ah,、uh, sure, Gabe. Eddie is right behind you. Oh, right. As always, Eddie. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm 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 doing well. Okay, good. Hey, um, do you have the question of the day for us? I always have the question of the day. Okay, what is it? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, here it is. What sites do you want to visit? Why? What sites do you want to visit? Why? I want to visit the National Palace Museum because I like to learn about history. Hey, I like to learn about history too. And in any city, there are many sites that you can visit. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English, where learning English can be fun. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.